Smash your friends. See this this thing right here? This is Brawlhalla, not Smash. Anyways, we're gonna go to the four settings for casual is experimental, friendly 2v2, strikeout 1v1s, and then free for all. So what you wanna do is pick your character for casual sake, we're just gonna pick a Surrey. Have a little skin for it, but it doesn't really matter about that. Once you pick a character, you can go straight into a practice match with four different bots. After that, you just wait a little bit, you know, just dunk on some fools, and then there you go. Into a match you go. So things could be going good, you're doing fine, getting some damage in. But then next you know, wham! You're lost. So what do you do? Yeah, you figure it's not a big deal. You go out again and try fighting someone else, and then wham! Get knocked out again. It was like, oh, well, won't fake my overall score. I bet they all died more than me. It don't even matter. Wham! Look at you. Not in first place. You suck. So what's your first initial instinct? If you just lost, imagine a game you haven't played. Maybe type it to the chat of nothingness and say a bad word. Or maybe go into a rank to prove that you're actually good at this game that you just got. Where will you rage quit? Don't do that. Check out other modes first. It's casual. Don't get too worked up. See, now there's a wonderful array of characters. Well, you see three characters that catch your eye. See, Nash, Bryn, and Asuri. But you don't want to make them all lucky blue. You want to make them nice, crisp brown. You go back to your tranquil place. That's basically like a training mode. If only there's a place you could train. But wait, there is. Welcome to the training mode. This is where you practice study moves for any character you like. Here you can play whatever character you want and whatever skin you want with whatever weapon skins and colors you want. It's basically a playground to learn a character without being judged by better players. Or by your friends. Or by yourself. I don't know. Just do what you want, I guess. Now that you got your swagalicious fighter ready, it's time to train and learn up some moves. There are eight types of attacks for each character, and not smash. Up, light, down, light, left, right, and right, light for some quick, sweet dams. Then there are ones that everyone spams and no one really likes too much. The up sig, down sig, left, right sig, and neutral sig. I know I said eight and I counted off nine, but you know. Left and right are just basically the same thing, so... Same thing goes with the light attacks. Everything is just about the same. Now, using those characters from earlier, let's you let's see how the first match goes. And now that you know the moves.
Well, you lost. Again. But that's fine. You learn from failures and not successes. Now let's try finding two people with random person online. In friendly 2v2, you fight a team of two with a friend if you have those, or with someone online. There's no friendly fire enabled, so go ham. Just be careful, everyone else three lives, and if your teammate bites the dust while the other two enemies are still kicking, your chances of winning will drop uh, harder than the Jin Dynasty. I don't know, I don't know what the Jin Dynasty is, I just made that up. Coming over me, I feel it all around me. I've been waiting for this moment all my life. It's my destiny. There's no tide even settle me. It's waiting to come out now. No matter what, no matter how, I know I'll make it through somehow. Cause when the room feels so long, I'll still be holding on. I'm gonna keep on going. I know I'll be strong. Yeah, it is tractable. I won't. Now for your final battle mode, ranked mode. This mode allows you to fight people around your current skill level and rank up to the top. These battles are hard to fight and only the best of the best can reach the higher tiers, so once you're in gold, the thought of spammers can go right out the window.
One final thing before I end this video. Every character has a kit of two weapons and their own set of stats. There's also stances that can help improve weaker stats or bump the stronger ones. These stances can be unlocked by leveling up your character by playing with them, basically. You also see your old career, about all you did with your character, what kind of kills you got with them, how many times you killed unarmed with weapons or with items you threw at them. That list goes on. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. If you like the video, please drop a like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.